Hello. In this video, I will be talking about mediation analysis using Andrew Hayes' process macro with a binary dependent variable. Typically, when testing for mediation using the macro, the mediator and the dependent variable are treated as continuous or assumed to be continuous. However, the macro does allow you to carry out mediation analysis in those cases where the dependent variable is binary, although it does not allow for testing for mediation when the mediator itself is binary. So in this video I provide a short demonstration of mediation analysis using process. The first test involves a simple mediation analysis with a single x variable, independent variable, mediator, and then a single and the dependent variable y. The second involves a test involving multiple mediators. So a copy of the data will be uh, made available for download underneath the video description as well as a copy of this PowerPoint. So our scenario. So in this case we are attempting to predict the likelihood of a person expressing the intention to donate to a political cause as a function of political interest, external political efficacy, and dogmatism. So the dependent variable intention to donate to a political cause is a binary variable coded zero, do not intend, and one, do intend to donate. The variables pol uh, political interest, external political efficacy, and dogmatism are treated as continuous. So when you're working with Andrew Hayes process macro, just make sure that first off, uh, to use it you have to in install it so once you've installed it you'll be going under the analyze uh, menu go down to regression and then down to process and you'll notice on the right in this slide uh, that I've already kind of specified the model and I'm going to demonstrate this in real time just in, in a second but you'll notice that I put the dependent variable uh, donate in the Y box uh, external political efficacy in the uh, X uh, variable box and then political interest is going to be treated as the mediator in the model so here you can see I have the data opened up in SPSS uh, this is our donate variable this is our Y outcome variable we have political interest and then external political efficacy right here and so again the effect of poli uh, external political efficacy on donate is being modeled uh, is being treated as mediated through political interest so we're going to go to analyze regression process and then we're going to move donate to the Y box we're going to move external political efficacy to the X variable box and we're going to move political interest to the mediators box. You'll notice that the default model number is 1. We're going to set this to 4 and then we're going to leave confidence interval set at 95 percent. So next we'll click on OK and sometimes it takes a few seconds for uh, the analysis to be carried out but basically it's running uh, right now and now you can see we, that we have our output. So you can see right here the first uh, model is essentially uh, modeling the relationship between external political efficacy, the X variable, and the mediator. Uh, and then the next piece of the output, when we scroll down, you can see that we have donate uh, being modeled as predicted by external, politi uh, external political efficacy and political interest. So I'm actually, and then by the way, as we scroll down, you'll also see that you get tests of direct effects and indirect effects of X on Y. And, and the main indirect effect that we're looking at is this right here. And we have a bootstrap confidence interval to carry out the tests. So let me uh, actually go back into the PowerPoint and we'll just kind of interpret these pieces of output because uh, this is probably pretty small to read uh, on, on your screen. Okay, so first off, Again, going back, uh, you can see that uh, the first piece of our output, we have the outcome variable is political interest right here, and it's being modeled as a simple regression where political interest is regressed onto external political efficacy. So this is the regression slope right here. So you can see there's a positive uh, predictive relationship between external political efficacy and political interest. Basically, those individuals feeling more efficacious express greater in, uh, interest and you can see that that relationship was statistically significant. In this uh, piece of the output you can see our outcome variable donate right here being regressed onto uh, political interest and external 
uh, political efficacy. So you'll notice it says coding of binary Y for logistic regression analysis. So it's recognizing uh, that our dependent variable is binary. So you have a model summary table with the negative two log likelihood, likelihood ratio test, testing whether um, the model containing our predictors is a significant improvement in fit over a null model or an intercept only model. You've got McFadden's, Cox and Snell, and Nagelkirke pseudo R squares that are given as well. So you can see we have external political efficacy and political interest as predictors with the coefficients and um, our significance tests right there. So interpretation, the path or the basically the direct effect from external political efficacy to political interest is positive and significant, indicating that persons scoring higher on polit external political efficacy are more likely to express an intention to donate than those scoring lower on the measure. The direct effect of political interest on do donate is positive and significant, indicating persons scoring higher on uh, political interests are more likely to express an intention to donate than those scoring lower on the measure. Then we have the actual test of the indirect effect. So again we have basically our indirect effect which is given right here and then we have bootstrap confidence intervals. So the indirect effect is tested using non-parametric bootstrapping and if the null of zero falls between the lower and the upper bound of our 95% confidence interval then the inference is that the population indirect effect is zero. So if zero falls outside the confidence interval then the indirect effect is inferred to be non-zero. So in this case we have a positive predictive relationship between uh, external political efficacy and donate as mediated through political interest and it is statistically significant. So for our second analysis, we maintained model number four right here. We've left political interest where it is and then just moved the dogmatism over. So all we've done is really just added dogmatism as an additional mediator of the effect of external political efficacy on donate. So when we look at our results, you can see that basically now we've got two simple regressions that are given right here and right here. These are the regression slopes. So for the first one, we have external political efficacy predicting political, political um, interest. And you can see that that relationship is positive and statistically significant. Then we have external political efficacy predicting dogmatism down here, the outcome being dogmatism. And you can see that we have a positive coefficient, but it is not statistically significant. Here we have the final of the uh, uh, mo uh, regressions where we have donate as the dependent variable. Again, uh, it's coded for logistic regression. So you can see we have external political efficacy, political interest, and dogmatism all serving as predictors. And so all of these coefficients are positive, but uh, the only um, effect that is statistically significant at the con conventional 0.05 level is political interest, which you see right here. So finally, um, we have our test of the indirect effects within the model. So you can see that external political, the indirect effect of external political efficacy on intention to donate um, is um, positive through the mediators of political interest and dogmatism. However, the in only the indirect effect flowing through the mediator of political interest is statistical significant, s statistically significant as the null of zero falls outside of the 95% confidence interval. So uh, that concludes our video and uh, if you find the video and the materials I've made available useful please take time to like the video and share it with others and also please consider subscribing to receive information on new statistics videos that I upload.